But isn't it <laughs> tough, though? Because once you're a dad, the chicks just want you twice as much. Oh, yeah. The chicks, it, it's true. Uh, yeah, and, in mean, evolutionary psychology terms, when girls see a hot, rich dad, they're like, okay, he is good enough for one woman to commit to him mm-hmm. and to give her, to give him her eggs. And then a baby's born. And if the baby's not retarded or doesn't have a limp, then the girls are like, oh, his genetic material strong. Also, I want to fuck him way more than if he was a single shithead. Yeah. I mean, girls have uh, girls want to like fuck guys for so many different reasons. It's yeah. like, I don't think there's any w- way to figure it out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we thought about this on this podcast. Lenoche. We know the reasons. <laughs> Um, I mean, would, 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 what do you think the number one reason a, a female? Well, you have to break it down to age. Like, okay, for uh, like twenties, thirties, and forty-year-old women, what about they all teens? have different. They all have different reasons. Uh, they probably like they want a TikTok star or some shit. Like that. <laughs> they want they a do. guy. That's good. We can write they off do, that they, they can do. show off to their friends as being impressive. No, what's that? No, like, like a forty-year-old doesn't give a shit about that. Well, I mean, at the same time, like you want a guy who would be, you know, not like a crackhead with a stable job. Austin, Basically, you want like, so, just like I wouldn't want to date a chick that my friends are going to talk shit about behind my back. Like, why are you dating okay. that? Yeah, fat yeah, yeah but what I want to talking about love, maybe. But I'm talking about like a, a, a like like I think like a 24 year old cares less about money, more about status, though, mm-hmm. like po- popularity, mm-hmm. but like hotness maybe is a thing too where like like a 24 year old 10 her mentality is not really fucking like that overweight rich guy yet yeah you know yeah. what i mean i agree so let's you break this I mean? down let's break this down simply i think we can do it by decade i like writing off the teens to tiktok star or mm-hmm. a kid who looks like he could be a tiktok star an go. 18 year old girl doesn't care about your earning potential your iq no. she just wants you to have a haircut that goes whoop, that's sweet. and be well, wearing the new pair about austin that. I, I think you're qualified to talk about government well, insurrection. Well, that's because you're like 30. Technology. You're like 30 you're not, and you date like 19 year olds. I'm actually yeah, I 20. Do. Yeah, so but you, you have sex with care. drug addicts you find off Tinder or girls that Cigar Guy brings you on the beach to double team. Or off I'm of saying, Danny's if, if, fucking if, comment section. Yes. <laughs> you're in the comment section looking for chicks. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, Wait, if you Austin, let Lenochi, myself, Leo, place, and King Croc break this down. If you don't have a place that you can have sex with a chick without their your parents being home... Then they're not gonna want to fuck with you. You okay. have to be at a certain economic status, okay. otherwise they're just gonna date oh, some man, guy. You, better. Austin, I, I, fucked, I fucked in my car a lot more in my twenties than I do now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to fuck in the car all the time. Austin, Austin, Austin like stand out. Stand out. If we're talking about Elizabeth Warren and her deep state <laughs> affiliation, you're in. Right now, I'm tagging in Lenochi and King Croc. Okay. Okay. We're gonna figure out the ideal for every decade. All right. TikTok star for the teens. Uh, that's that's probably accurate for ninety percent of teens. Twenties. When we're in the 20s, the girl is making her best guess about your potential in your 40s. Hold on. Say. Are we talking about someone who just wants to get laid or are they looking long for term. a date? A long, long, long term. Long term. Okay. For a, a date. Uh, you could also have to break down cities too. You know that's I mean? true. Well, we're going we'll to rule roll. out Mobile, Alabama. Uh, so yeah. Let's do Los Nicholas. Angeles. Let's do Los Angeles only. Uh, the, let's just do in general because Los uh-huh. Angeles is so different. In sure. general, like the general public... A twenty-year-old is is definitely the first thing first for her is being attracted to the guy, sexually attracted to the guy is one. Yeah, mm, that's right. one. Yeah, she has some. You know, you could that. argue at twenty-nine it, it, it changes a little bit, but like most twenty-year-old girls, it's like for her to be like banging an unattractive rich guy in his forties. Agree. It's like that girl's got some issues. That exists, yeah. but I agree got, it's not the norm. She got she got fucking trauma. Yeah, but, I mean, what I, I about think, sure sugar babies? This well, is a that's, that's what we're saying. Like, that's, tra- trauma. that's trauma. Lenochi okay, saying okay. that that exists, but it's not the majority. It's right that, now, yeah. we're trying to find the avatar, the main woman in her twenties, and what her dating preferences are. It's mm-hmm. attractive. I, sexual I, attractive. I think seventy-five percent is sexual attractiveness yes. is what she's looking for, and twenty-five percent earning potentials, intelligence, good family, things like that. I do think, as Lenochi alluded to, when a woman reaches her thirties. That percentage shifts. 100%. And maybe now we're 75% his resources and 25% his appearance. I would well, say no, my perspective would, is... Okay, Austin, tell us about security. women in their 30s, please. Yeah. Well, okay, 
Nice. Girls like who are like in their twenties and stuff, they want to have fun. That's generally what they want. They want a guy who can go out and ha- and do fun things with them. So you that have doesn't to go have away. Anyone certain... can have fun. <laughs> you get to be sixty and have fun. What do you mean? Well, you're gonna, you're gonna be like, all right, sure, let's go to dinner. You you want a fucking uh, margarita? Let's go. Oh, we're having fun. Like I, I could do that seventy. No, but that's what I'm fun. saying. You're like, no fun, Lenochi, like, until Austin takes a girl over to watch a Yu-Gi-Oh for seven hours on end. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's not fun. I don't have like my own apartment. <clears throat> and like enough money to go do all these activities and shit a girl that's like 22 is much more likely to date somebody like danny who's 30 okay let me just let me debunk your shit what age of girl are you mostly likely gonna have sex with a girl in her 20s 30s or 40s okay end of story so it's a girl in her 20s a girl in her 30s isn't teens. touching you. Austin, it's teens, dude. Dude, a, a girl in her 30s isn't touching you. A girl in her 40s isn't touching you. A girl in her 50s, 60s, we can keep going, isn't touching you. A girl in her 20s is touching you. So, for the point of the argument... His uncle's touching him, too. A 20-year-old is more likely to have sex with a guy who's... That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. What what is What is the age group more likely going to have sex with? It's going to be I, sexual attraction. Austin, everything you're saying right now, group, look, uh, everything that's Austin's what saying are. right now, that's all I'm hearing about. it we're, as we're is... talking about what girls look for in a Austin, guy. this is you right now. Age group, though. Listen to me, Austin. All he's doing over there is going, well, don't forget that I get pussy, too. <laughs> well, opinion. Opinion. I get pussy, too. I think you're missing my whole point. Well, we, I'm saying that for guys that are my age, the girls that are our age, it's actually surprisingly difficult to get laid because you're competing against guys in LA specifically, because it's a lot more difficult to be living on your own and having like I hear a you. cool life. I hear Austin, you, I, uh, and I respect your. <laughs> ah, I get pussy. One too. word. One word. Awesome. But I, but, but, college. But College whole, would be great for you. But the whole argument is, what do each age group of girls, twenties, thirties, forties, what is their number one preference with yes. a guy? Yes. We're saying yeah. girls in their 20s, it's sexual attraction. Yes. Mm-hmm. How many times have you seen this, Lenochi? This strengthens our point. Austin, the kids listening right now, they want to hear from the guys over here. If they listen to your <laughs> advice, they're going to end up in a forest with a gunshot wound in their head. Hey, man, just wait. I'm starting my podcast in a couple go, of weeks. It's going gonna, it's gonna <laughs> to go from Danny anime in a to Reddit money, to baby. suicide in the woods, dude. He, he, has, he has gotten a lot more confident than my last time I saw him. Yes. A gunshot in the head, dude. They're going to they're gonna go, they're going to spiral into the MGTOW Reddit subreddit. <laughs> Black and then new. they're just going to big gonna, gang they're baby, just gonna, right they're, chat they're just going to their Good their job. apartment floor you know how the sea levels are allegedly rising where's the other one Austin's the apartment office? floor know, Austin's scared. trailer floor rises because the jizz is just encrusting and making making the carpet raise up an inch or so every 6 months they're going to end up like him then they're gonna, they're going to wake up one morning and say i hate myself i'm going to get my dad's gun and then you hear a boom and a fireman finds him like 6 weeks later oh my god why why would it take 6 weeks to find him Dicks, you're in the woods you're deep up there it probably wouldn't be a fireman it would be an old lady with like a schnauzer who's out for a walk now, okay. yeah, so so a 20, in their 20s, they'll sound. date sexual attraction, but in their 30s, they'll fuck sexual attraction, but they won't date. Well, let's unless, so, so Lenochi, 30s I'll, is security. The, security the, yeah. This is what I want to say this. Like, how many times have you seen this? Leo, I know you've seen this. A girl you went to college with, a girl you met at a comedy show and you followed her on Instagram for a while. She gets a boyfriend while she's in her 20s. Yeah. The guy is a Ken doll personified. Great hair, six feet tall, drives a Tesla, has something cool in his in his bio like sustained NFT. geographic <laughs> blah, 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 blah. NFT drop uh, yeah. April 14th. Amazon head of design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've I've seen it so many times. But then after like two or three years, that guy disappears from her pictures. And then you wait six more months, and a fucking bald guy who's five foot six pops up in her pictures, yeah. and you go, "Why the drop off?" Because she turned thirty. And she needed to get busy fast because those eggs are getting a little sour and her priorities shifted from attractiveness and money to fuck it. Give me the money. That's the important thing right now. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I, 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 I know what you're saying. I would say that they're, they're not going totally five, six bald fat guy yet. <laughs> it happened. It does happen. No, I've got one girl it in mind. Happen. She's a smoking hot chick from uh, San Francisco. And I saw this happen to her. Sure. It, it happens. But I think you still have the window of like there's it's 50 50 instead of 75 25. You know what I mean? Like for sure, if there's a girl who's not married at 38. Yeah, then it gets <laughs> because ugly. then, you know, she's like 
they get the pressure of like I can have a bunch of friends married with kids, and I'm not like, oh no, I better hurry up. All that, my kids are women have be autistic. Oh, Clooney, no. when Clooney was like 63, <laughs> he married a thir- the 36 year old lawyer. She was she was badass. So I guess if you continue working on yourself, ladies, though, how old is he? You can you can pull an old George Clooney later on in mm-hmm. life. Yeah, it's not a bad move. King Croc, you're big into the pussy getting seen. It's not a bad idea to figure out where the wine bars are around town. The wine yeah. bars that cater to a slightly older crowd. Mm-hmm. And you look for those women who just turned 32, mm-hmm. whose first boyfriend dumped them. The guy who drives the Tesla and has that pimp ass loft in Santa Monica. Mm. And um, let her think that you might be the rebound. I, uh, I know a good one. It's called Wally's in Beverly Hills. It's Ooh. strictly MILFs with a lot of money. I know, I know, I know Wally's. Oh, yeah. Is that where you met your girl? You've been there? No. She's young. She's been there. How did you meet your girl? We were just, we just bumped into each other walking down the street. Damn, that's you don't awesome. have the confidence Wait, so you to pull called- something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that wink, dude. Yeah, that's a lie. You I son of a bitch. I was just, dude, I was on my phone and it was, hey. <laughs> and then it was like, like that. And I go, oh, wow. my bad. And I helped her like pick up her you know <laughs> lipstick and stuff and i was like have i met you before okay is this real life or a <laughs> jennifer really aniston right. movie you're yeah. fucking lying I, dude. I, I, go, I look at her i go have, have, have we met <laughs> and i just thought that was the line and she was like listen ah. this is how it went and she pumped her head and she rubbed it listen, this, is, this is how it went Lenochi's on tour with Dalia in Chicago. Fucking <laughs> Dalia, it's it's eleven p.m. Dalia opens his hotel room door and hurls some dizzy broad out into the hallway. Lenochi Leno- was delivering French toast to Dalia's room that Stop he picked up from together. Denny's. That is not true. And then Dalia's. I met her. Dan- First of all, like, I met her during the pandemic, so yes. definitely didn't. I wouldn't date a girl I met on tour. Yeah, uh, I remember you sat on that couch and said, "I comedy I met a girl, over she didn't even know know it she didn't she doesn't know anything about comedy she didn't know i did stand up when we met so that was good so you know you want to find someone who doesn't know you and they like you for your flaws so i mean that's gonna be harder for you three but still you can <laughs> shut, shut hey up. i was face first with some titties probably earlier than any of you guys were sure you went no cool. because i probably got some titties that night in 2007 wait what earlier no no, than, no i mean like how old are you right the now? day before yesterday i was head face first with some titties 